Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for March 7th through the 13th, 2021. I hope everybody is doing well. I want to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading and therefore it may not resonate with everyone. If it's not resonating, please check your other signs and placements and see if those readings resonate a little bit better. Also keep in mind that tarot is energy and therefore the roles may reverse or flip-flop. That's not unusual and also with energy, the timelines can be variable. So keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> also, I would like to go ahead and let you know that if you would like a personal reading, the information is in the box beneath this video and um, basically just email me and I'll be happy to get that set up for you. So what we're going to do, Aquarius, we're going to pull the energy of you. We're going to pull the energy of the person you're connecting with. And then we'll pull the energy of the connection itself as well as the outcome for the end of the week. Um, if you would, go ahead and get a question in mind because at the end of the reading, we are going to pull some of the Angel Answers Oracles and see if we can get an answer for your question. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Aquarius, please? Okay. Okay. Okay, so Aquarius, you have the Three of Swords, the Ten of Wands, we have Strength in Reverse, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so this is a little bit of heavy energy. I'm not going to lie. Um, there is something that has hurt you with the Three of Swords. So this is indicating to me that this is a painful situation, um, painful to the heart. Um, with the Ten of Wands, it's left you feeling extremely burdened. So there's a lot of problems here that has occurred in your life as a result of this heartache. And I do think that you may have some options available to you, but they're not strong options. And so... I just feel like even though there you do have some options, I don't feel like any of those options really seem like good options to you. Um, so I just think that you're right now very mired down in this pain and, and the problems that have resulted from the pain. Let's look and see who you're connecting with. Okay. Okay, so we have the five of cups in reverse. We have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, and we have the Emperor. So the person that you're connecting with, it could very well be an Aries. Um, doesn't have to be, though. Um, but this person is taking charge of their circumstances. I do think that they're in a period of letting go. Um, I, they're letting go of something here. It may be the, this connection. It could be something within the connection. Um, or maybe even something just within their life. But I do think that they are taking charge of their life. They're seated in their power. And I do also think that as they're letting go of whatever this is, and we will clarify that, it is leaving them feeling more optimistic and happier. Um, let's look at the energy of the connection. All right, so we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So that's a couple. Okay, so this is a couple, and I'm, this is a couple that is not in harmony, all right? So, in this connection, there, this is a, a, a couple who normally would be well-suited, um, but th this couple is not in harmony. Um, this is a, a breakup. This is a, a connection that at one time was very prosperous. And I, not just emotionally, but, you know, financially as well. This was a grounded connection, most likely a long-term connection. And I can tell you that there's probably a lot of assets that are at play here as well, financially. Um, but there is a disconnect in this connection. Um, if it's not a divorce, it is soon to be, or, or at least there is a deep disconnect in the connection. What is directly affecting this? What is directly affecting this connection? Because this connection actually has the potential to be 
very successful, but it's not. All right, so we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse and the Nine of Swords. Okay, so somebody's withholding the love in this connection. There's Love is not being offered, and it's because of, you know, it, it's causing, actually, a, a deep emotional upset. So whoever is withholding the emotion, um, and it, it might be on both parties, um, but there is, whoever is in this, con or whoever is withholding the love in this connection, and it could possibly be both, there is a deep, deep emotional disconnect. There is a, a almost like a dark night of the soul that's going on. And it's because of the of the withholding of love. I do feel like there is love in this connection. And this connection also has the ability, Aquarius, to actually be very prosperous. Because in the upright, this would be the perfect couple, a well-suited couple. But because of their of the withholding of love, the not offering the love that is actually there, there is a disconnect in the connection. What is the outcome at the end of the week? So much sadness. So much sadness is being felt there. Okay, so we have the High Priestess in reverse and we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so with the Knight of Wands in reverse, Aquarius, um, I do think that there is somebody who maybe was a player in the past, but is now actually committed to this connection. Or if they weren't a player, they may have just been in and out. Their energy may have been in and out. But at this point, um, they're actually there's actually a commitment to to this connection. But whoever it is is not not speaking that. I, I don't feel like there's um, someone's not using their intuition with regard to this. I don't think that. Um, I don't think that that someone is actually drawing upon their own intuition by the end of the week. There may actually be um, somebody is gaining some insight about this, um, but I can tell that there is someone here who may have had in and out energy. They were committed. They were not committed. They, they may have even been a player, but I do think that at this point, by the end of the week, that is over. That's done because this person will be committed to the connection. Whoever it is that wasn't will be committed to the connection. Bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Wands. So there is going to be rapid movement in this connection. Um, could indicate some kind of travel or relocation, but it looks more like communication. And it's going to be going back, back and forth. It'll be both ways. This looks so tragic to me, Aquarius. Let's, let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Three of Swords here for Aquarius? Why is the Three of Swords here? Card went flying. One moment, please. Okay, so you have the Ace of Swords. And you have the Two of Coins. So yeah, there was some truth that came out here. Something came out. And it was that's what caused this pain. <clears throat> so... There was communication, a truthful communication came out. Um, it, it was an eye-opening experience, as it were, and it caused a lot of imbalance for you, Aquarius. And I also think that it was very painful. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Knight of Cups and the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so you want to offer your love. 
you want Aquarius, you want to offer love to this person. That that would actually relieve your burdens. That would actually make you feel better. So the answer to you for these problems is to either receive or to give this love. And we see here with the Knight of Cups in the reverse that that's the problem. So this is you. This is you. So you believe that if, if the two of you were able to give and receive love, that it would, it would resolve this. But for some reason, that's not happening. So let's see. Why do, can I have three for the bottom energy? One more, please. I got two. Okay, so we have the five of swords in the reverse. I mean, five of coins in the reverse. The knight of pentacles. We have the nine of cups. And we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So you do have options, but you don't really like any of the options that you've been given. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, you are trying to, you're trying to get what it is that you want. And what you want is a reconnection with this person, Five of Coins in the reverse. This is a comeback around. So you're trying to receive this opportunity to have this come back around you do have other options in your life there are other people that are interested but they're not what you want so i do think that this connection ended ace of cups in the reverse you're you're not accepting any of these other offers you're turning them down because what you want is you want to come back together with this person from the past. So you have the opportunity to have new love. You're being approached by others, but you don't want that because it's not, it's not what is going to make you fulfilled. Now, you do believe that you can come back together with this person, but you realize it's going to be very slow in, the coming, in coming back together. But that is ultimately what you're hoping for. And I do think you do have other options. It's not like you don't have options. You do. Yeah. There was something up here that broke your heart, though. It was something, some kind of news, something, some truth. It caused a total imbalance in the connection, and it broke your heart. Let's look at the person that you're connecting with. All right, they have the Five of Cups in the reverse. Why? Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse, and we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. All right, so the person that you're connecting with, um, they found out something, or else they revealed something, and it had to do with the other, other person. There was another person in the connection. Queen of Wands um, is sometimes the other person. It's It can be... Um, like another lover, another person interfering in the connection. Um, and it, it may not have even been a lover. It could have, although usually it is, but it, it indicates another person interfering in the connection. This was discovered. This was discovered. And I think that the person that you're dealing with here, Aquarius, is relieved that this was discovered. They're relieved that it was discovered, or they may be relieved if it has ended, because the Queen of Wands is in the reverse, and so it may have ended, and they may be relieved that it has ended. The deception has ended. Why is the Four of Pentacles in the reverse? All right, we have temperance in the reverse. And again, we have that five of, of cups in the reverse. Now that's twice. So this is very strong energy, which tells me that the person you're dealing with, Aquarius, is definitely letting go of sadness. They're, they're beginning to feel more optimistic because this is twice we've gotten this in their energy. So it's very strong. Um, as they're letting go of this and um, this imbalance, they're letting go, they're beginning to heal right? 
um, it's they're beginning to become more optimistic, but they still are in need of healing. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? We have the Hierophant in reverse. And we have the King of Pentacles, repeating energy, but in the reverse. So the person that you're dealing with, Aquarius, they took charge of the situation. They're the one who ended this connection. And they feel as if they, they ended this connection and they feel as if this was in their best interest. They feel as if this is what is going to make them happy. Um... They're trying to heal. They're trying to bring balance into their life. But there was something here that came out. Some kind of information came out about someone who was interfering in the connection. But that is ended. And what came out was that it has ended. Meanwhile, you're over here heartbroken. And you just want to give love back to this person. You want to love this person. You see them as being wish fulfillment. You're willing to move slowly. You have other options, but you see this person as your wish fulfillment. Um, Spirit, can I have three cards for the connection? Okay. High Priestess in reverse. Again, repeating energy. Queen of Cups in the reverse. And the Three of Wands. Yeah, there was some secrets here that came out. There was a secret that came out and it closed you off, Aquarius. You pulled back entirely. This person was in waiting mode, but they're the ones who ended it. The person you're connected with, they're the ones who ended it. And then they waited. They're, they were waiting to see what would occur, how this would, would come about, what would what would happen. But it hurt you, and you closed yourself off. You're opening up. You're ready to give this person love again. You want to come back together with this person. Um, three for the male energy. Mm. All right, so we have the nine of wands. We have the Six of Wands in reverse, and we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. So, I don't see this, um, I don't see this as being very successful um, at this time. The reason I say that is because I, I think that Aquarius, you are just you're feeling really burdened, and I think that you would like to be able to offer love to this person and and have them offer love back to you. Um, but I think that so much has happened, and, you know, I just don't see that it's going to be successful if you do, not according to the cards. Now, the person you're dealing with, they are really up in their head. This person is going through... Um, they went through a lot of sadness, a lot of pain as well about this situation. And they kind of closed off too. And the way they have dealt with this Aquarius is they basically have just decided to release everything. Release the past, release the emotions, release everything, and wait for something better to come along. Um, they just basically have shut you out. They've shut everything down here. Um, can I see um, three for the outcome? Three cards for the outcome. Okay. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that at the end of the week, I do think that... This energy, because we have this high priestess twice, there is an energy here of something that, that came out, and I do think it was whatever this deception was. We have the ace of swords here. 
Um, I feel as if a truth was told and it, it was something that had been deceptive, something to do with interference in this connection. It caused your person to shut you out completely. They have made every attempt to just drop this connection and drop you, drop anything to do with the connection. You initially shut yourself off, but I think that you are open to having a reconciliation. I think you would like to offer love to this person you would want to take it slowly, but I can't see that at this time, Aquarius, it's going to be successful because this person is really not open. Um, and I think that, that truthfully, um, I think that you're, you're being open with everything at this point. I'm not sure that they have come to a point where they can commit to the connection um, but I think that you, you are. Now, what I do see is that the, you have shared energy of the Ace of Pentacles. So there is a possibility of this coming back together. Um, there is a possibility of it, but it won't be in, in the next week for most of you, if any of you. Um, and I do think that within the next week, what's going to happen is that all of these, because you have the Seven of Cups twice, all of these options that you have that you've been turning down, I think you may begin to entertain some of those options. Um, you may start to look at some of those options, Aquarius, and I think that the person that you've been dealing with is going to really focus upon themselves. They have the nine of coins. So that tells me that this person is going to focus upon themselves, focus upon their money, upon themselves. Um, I do think that both of you are actually going to be looking at your options elsewhere is with regard to love, but I do see that there is the possibility down the road in the future of there being a, a stable beginning. But I do see that there's going to most likely be a period of time apart in order for each of you to find value within the connection and be able to commit to the connection. But I do see the possibility of that happening. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the five of wands in the reverse, which tells me that the conflict here will end. It's just that it's going to, it's not going to most likely be at the end of the week. Um, I, th whatever happened here, it was, it was pretty deep. It was a deep cut, and I just think that it's going to take a minute. I do see, though, that there is love still. I also see that there is the opportunity for a stable new beginning, but it's going to be after a period of being apart, okay? Um, and, and some of you will decide to stay apart, but I do see some of you coming back together after exploring options, each of you exploring different options. All right, so Aquarius, if you can, go ahead and get the question that you had in your mind. And I'm going to pull from the angel answers. Okay, pulling for Aquarius. Aquarius, okay. Okay, so you have helpful people. So there's going to be some helpful people that are going to assist with this situation. Your answer is yes. And you have a timing card within the next few weeks. Okay, so to answer your question, the answer is yes within the next few weeks and it's going to be assisted by helpful people. Okay. So I hope this has been helpful to you, Aquarius. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Um, be sure you hit that like button and share the video. Also, leave me a comment because I do read all of your comments. And until I see you next week, namaste.